With the recent 125 kilogram pull-up by Vitaly Vyshuk and the endless amounts of comments claiming no rep, the question remains, should this PR be respected? Should it be acknowledged as an actual valid rep? And my answer, yes. For me, as long as the technique is safe, there is some presence of competition form with the chin at least reaching the bar, and the cheating is minimal and it doesn't resemble a CrossFit pull-up, I don't see anything wrong with counting this as a valid rep for street lifting training. Obviously for competition, it would get red lighted for kicking, but just because there's kicking doesn't mean Vitaly can't include it as a rep in his own training log. It's important to note that there are different standards for what constitutes a valid rep in different contexts, such as in training versus competition. In training, the focus is often on personal improvement and pushing one's limits, whereas in competition, strict rules and guidelines are in place to ensure a level playing field for all lifters. These rules are designed so that no single lifter can benefit from a particular nuance within the exercise that would make the form a cheated rep. This is why I fully believe that there are differences and similarities between efficient, cheated competition and training form, some of which can overlap and some of which can decide whether a rep is valid or not in a specific context. Efficient form refers to using specific movement patterns that would make the exercise most efficient and effective for whatever purpose you do the exercise for. And that purpose can decide whether a particular form is efficient or not. For example, one of the most common critiques of the weighted dip form used by street lifters is that there's forward lean, which shortens the range of motion. And many outsiders critique this form because it doesn't fully isolate the tricep, thereby making that particular form inefficient for the purpose of tricep growth. However, for street lifting purposes, this particular form makes the movement as compound as possible by recruiting not just the triceps, but also the chest and even shoulders to its fullest capacity so that we can lift as much weight as possible for one rep. Cheated form refers to using improper movement patterns that would allow you to lift more weight or perform more reps than would be possible with proper form, which is sometimes used interchangeably with competition form. Again, the purpose for using a particular form is absolutely crucial here because it determines whether the form is cheating or not. And what's interesting too is that depending on the purpose, cheated and efficient can sometimes be used interchangeably. If the purpose of a particular pull-up form was to lift as much weight as possible, then we can argue that the use of kicking is a more efficient way to lift more weight than without the use of kicking. Now, I'm not justifying that kicking is a good thing. What I am saying is that kicking is a good thing in certain situations. Competition form refers to the strict rules and guidelines that are in place for competitions. These rules are designed to provide a fair and objective measurement of performance. It may be associated with specific ranges of motion, timing, and technique. These particular form rules can be determined by finding what is the safest, most efficient, and least cheating form for lifting the most weight possible. And this can be a challenge because many people have different opinions about what is efficient, safe, and not cheating. This is where certain biases can come in from the rule maker or where the influence of particular social standards can morph the form rule. Lastly, training form. Training form refers to the movement patterns that an individual uses during their regular training routine, which can be a mix of cheated, efficient, and competition valid. As long as the training form fulfills the purpose of contributing towards the training goal, then in the lifter's eyes, it should always count. Whether or not it counts for the person who's not doing the lift is irrelevant, because many people have different standards for what they consider to be a good rep, and many people don't understand what the purpose of that form is for. I think the whole purpose of Vitaly's 125 is not to gain respect from the common population. It is to showcase that he is getting stronger. And I think with this particular form, there's clear indication that this man has the ability to pull at least 120 
according to commonly accepted competition rules. That's why for me, it makes no sense to say that someone's rep is a no rep without any context associated. Not everyone trains with competition valid form. Not everyone has to train with competition valid form. And in fact, there are some benefits to having cheating involved for the purpose of either eliciting more volume or adding more weights to a movement to generate a sufficient stimulus. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.